Have you ever considered buying a brand new motorhome, but you were afraid to do so because of all the horror stories you saw online? Well, so were we, but we decided to buy one anyway. And here is our six month review of our Integra 25R that we bought brand new in 2021. So let me talk through how we got this. Um, we've been watching videos online for probably a year um, looking at everything and drooling over stuff and thinking about what we want to get and you know it's just a video on TV so we were thinking about getting something and we just decided uh, that there was a couple models that we really wanted to see and nobody around here had it and it was like I don't want to order something online without putting my hands on it and seeing it so La Mesa RV in Arizona said hey i got one here it's sold but you can come take a look at it i'll let you drive around the block and we're like yeah that sounds pretty cool um but at the same time he goes we're having a show at the stadium and everything we have will be there so you can see everything in one shot so it's like six hours from here i live in long beach california so five six hours no big deal we'll drive out to phoenix uh, enjoy it uh, it was in uh, i think november ish sometime like that uh, december and um, so we drove out and um, checked everything out. And sure enough, the model that we thought we wanted, it wasn't gonna work. It was a little small Thor class A. And I mean, the shower, there's no way it was gonna work for me. So it was like, well, back to the drawing board. So we got to the show, we walked around, we looked at everything and we started leaning pull behind maybe. Because I've owned a pontoon boat for years and I was gonna dump it and get a motor home. And so pulling was no big deal. I've been doing it my whole life. I worked at a trailer company. So I was thinking, you know what? Um, maybe pull behind's the way to go. And we were kind of probably like leaning that way. And then sure enough, later in the day, we're about ready to leave. And we see one of the guys pull this up. And I'm like, hey man, that Integra wasn't there before. What model is it? We walked up and we were like, oh my gosh, it's a 25R. We saw Matt and Andrea at Matt's our v reviews, uh, do a review on that. And we love that model. So we're like, hey, can, what's up with this? Is it sold? And they're like, no, the guy just literally just drove it here from the factory. So we got in and immediately we fell in love. And I was like, wow, this is really nice. But I'm like, ah, my wife's not gonna pull the trigger. So anyway, she was like, okay, if we don't buy this, somebody else is gonna snatch it up like right now. So we're either gonna buy it or we're not gonna buy it. So kind of on an impulse buy, which is not like us at all, we pulled the trigger. I mean, our adult daughter who's in college was like, what are you guys doing? I can't believe you did that. Like, this is so unlike you. This is a major decision. It's a lot of money. And we're like, oh, we just did it. So um, we, we pulled the trigger and you know what? Um, zero regrets. It's been fantastic. We've spent like 40 nights in this thing so far. We've driven it about 13,000 miles so far. I think 12,700 change. And it's been great. One thing I love about this uh, Integra 25R is the drivetrain. Uh, it's got that 7.4 Godzilla motor, um, fantastic engine so far, zero issues. The thing pulls hills like, no, there's no tomorrow. I mean, uh, it's nothing for this. We drove back from Phoenix when it was brand new. I drove it pretty much the whole way, pulled those grades. I literally don't think the thing got out of high gear. I don't even think it downshifted going up the grades, empty. Now fully loaded with water and everything and all the junk we got in here. Um, you know, it, 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 it'll shift going up the hills, but empty, it was like a pickup truck. It was just cruised up those hills. And the gas mileage isn't that bad, guys. It's like nine and a half fully loaded at like 70 miles an hour. So if you keep out of the throttle and you stay about 60 or, you know, 58, 60, somewhere in that range, it'll get over 10, 10 and a half even. Uh, we drove back from Ventura, which is about two hours north of here. One of the beaches up there from here. And um, I got about 10 and a half because I was driving like 55 the whole time. So it can do pretty darn good uh, on fuel economy for uh, a 7.4 liter engine, uh, which is crazy because that old Ford uh, V10 was like six point something liters. Uh, but it gets, everybody I'm hearing, it's like six to eight. So um, this thing does really good. I'm really impressed with this Godzilla engine. Um, everything's easy to get to. I changed the oil myself, uh, the, the, the drain plug and then the oil filter. Like you don't even really hardly have to jack up the vehicle to get to them. So that was super simple. Did that in the driveway. Another thing that I like that this has that some of your cheaper models don't have is the upgraded seats there in the front. They're super comfortable. Um, that is a really nice thing to have a comfortable seat. It's 
definitely a huge upgrade in this. It's got kind of like that faux Naga hide leather. Uh, and um, it's just a really, really nice uh, seat that's very comfortable. So big props there, zero complaints on the seats. Uh, I'm a big guy and I fit in here no problem. And that's what I love about this motorhome. I fit in the shower. Um, I can use the toilet no problem. The theater seats fit me. The bed, my wife and I can fit in there. It's a queen bed in the back. It's a little bit snug, but it's not bad at all. I get great night's sleep here. The mattress is good. We put a little pad on it, but it's just as comfortable as my house. And uh, the dinette turns into a bed. We've used that before. My mom came with us and she got a good night's sleep on it. So it sleeps four really comfortably, but so far zero regrets. I will be honest in this video. I'll let you know what's gone well. The few things that we've had that are like minor problems, nothing is major. But we've had a few things here and there, a couple little hiccups, and I'll be honest about them. And uh, so this is the review, six months. We've spent at least 40 nights in this thing so far. I've taken on a couple week business trip. We drove from California to Florida and back. Uh, that's all documented. I got videos on that um, online. A lot of it is like theme parks and stuff, but there's a couple RV videos in there as well. But um, yeah, it's been a really fun ownership uh, experience so far. And uh, here you go. Okay, Integra 25R, we're gonna fire it up, set the parking brake. So we got the parking brake set, and then we just hit this auto level button. see tells you what it's doing analyzing please wait please wait success when that happens you know you're good to go we're level jacks down super simple so you can see we got the leveling jacks up um, really nice uh, feature on this motorhome I would say probably one of my favorite features I will never have another motorhome that doesn't have that Another feature we love about this motorhome is the massive awning. It is really a nice thing to have on a sunny day uh, just to stay out of the sun when you're getting a little bit burnt or you just don't want to be pounded on. It's really a nice feature. It helps out in the rain too uh, just to be able to get in and out of your motorhome with not getting soaked too bad or be able to stash the chairs under there so they don't get too wet. We love it. As you can see on this motorhome, it's an Integra 25R. The slide really doesn't go out very far at all. So you can get away with day camping somewhere like here and you can see just hanging right on the edge of the line there, the parking line. So usually nobody hassles us. Sometimes in Dana Point, they'll tell us to push it in, but yeah, makes a lot more room inside. So the batteries are under the steps, super easy to get to. It came with one house battery, just a cheap deep cycle, no name brand. I bought a second cheap one at Walmart. And so far, these two, no problems, no issues. Um, it's plenty to get me through the day at the beach hanging out. I think I've got it down to, you know, maybe 25% low or something like that, maybe one time. Um, but yeah, so far so good. If you're boondocking a lot or something, sure you can replace these with some, you know, uh, deep cycle gel batteries or some lithium ions or something. But for us, this has worked great. No problems, no issues. So one thing I've enjoyed about this motorhome is cooking in here. I'm the cook in the family and I've used this stove. It works great. No issues, no problems. The sink is plenty big. I have no problems using it. Two big, deep, two-sided uh, stainless steel sink. Uh, the convection microwave oven, fantastic. Just learning how to use it, realizing you can bake things in there and uh, use it for that, make toast or whatever. Uh, the two-way fridge, uh, not only I think Integra's done a good job making it not look like a gaudy fridge, but uh, it's worked fantastic on propane and on on electricity running down the road zero issues with that and then the outdoor kitchen we've loved it too um, it's been really fantastic you want to go out and enjoy the outdoors I mean that's why we go motorhome and and uh, RV in is to you know enjoy the outdoors sometimes you want to be in a in your in your motorhome cooking so we've cooked out there as well from time to time uh, and coupled that with the barbecue so anyway uh, this is the review of the kitchen and two big thumbs up zero issues so far in here so one little tip here um you can turn this on. This is the vent for the stove, but you can't just turn it on. You also have to go outside. 
So out here is the um, vent, um, but you have to pop it open like that. Now I'm 6'2", and I can reach it pretty easily, but your average housewife that's 5'4", is probably not gonna be able to get up here without a step stool. So you don't wanna leave it open. We've done it a few times driving down the road, here and this, go like that all day is annoying. So you gotta lock it when you're done, but um, that's one thing. It's not just about turning on the fan. You also have to open and close this out here. So it's tied under here. It's a van, but oil fills right there. That's super easy to get to. Um, you got your oil dipstick and your trans dipstick here. Battery, super easy access. And uh, filling up fluids right there for washers. It's a, it's a real simple setup, guys. Not Nothing complex about this vehicle at all as far as maintenance. So Integra's have this valve system. So I'm going to fill the tank. I'm going to go on city fill, which is one and six. So now that we got our valve set, you hook up your garden hose to the bottom one. Top one's for black flush out. The bottom one is your connection for uh, fresh water. And it's the same connection, whether you're filling the tank or you're running off of the city system or whatever, you use those valves, but it's just one connection. I know on some um, pull behind trailers, they'll have like a little valve here that's your fill up where you just pour it in. But this has just one spot. For everything. So we've been filling up our tank and we want to check our level. I'm going to hit the fresh. So it's showing a third. That's exactly where I want it. I'm going to go turn the hose off. And so when you're running down the road, you don't want a full tank of water. Uh, it's just extra weight. Um, you, unless you're going somewhere boondocking where you can't get water, it's just not a good idea. So once you're done filling the tank, the normal setting for just driving down the road, running off your water pumps, three and five. Okay, so here's one of my uh, complaints about the motorhome. If you look down, the slide's in, right? Now this motorhome is 100% usable to slide in, but that is the thermostat. You can kind of reach your hand in there to, to, to do what you need to do, but the thermostat is only visible with the slide out, which to me is like, find a new spot, guys, come on. And a motorhome that can be used 100% with the slide in, you need to have a spot that is usable. So you can see with the slide out, it's in a great spot. Slide in, not so much. So one of the upgrades we did to the overhead bunk, cause it's not very comfortable. We bought this nice double mattress, foam mattress on um, Amazon, it's about a hundred bucks, but just makes it really comfortable. And you got plenty of headroom up here. It's nice. That is one warranty thing. Um, that shade is broken. And from what we're hearing, they all break. It's an Integra kind of a thing. So uh, that is one of the things we got to get turned in to get fixed. But uh, this uh, bed up here, my daughter sleeps up here. She spent weeks at a time up here when we did our Florida trip. And, you know, this was her little little kingdom up here. Another upgrade I did is the little tiny vent fan that it came with. I bought this online and it was a direct swap. Super easy install. It took me maybe a half an hour but it replaced the fan that was there and it was already wired for that little fan. So a couple wire nuts, there was no soldering. There was no nothing. There was no trying to find a wire. And this thing works fantastic. I'm gonna turn it on here. But I mean, that thing will suck the hot air out of your motorhome, like right now, which is why we got it. Or even the steam or whatever, but this thing, you know, it's pretty good compromise without having to go on the roof and bust your seal and do all that. Um, definitely was a good good purchase. And I'll, I'll try to put a link uh, down below, you know, for, for this, but definitely a big upgrade. So one thing you gotta get, little inflator. This is one from Harbor Freight. It runs on batteries. Right now I got it to the cigarette lighter. You kinda do need the batteries for the back tires, but you can see we're at 66. These take 80, full pressure. So I'm gonna put it up to 80. And then turn it on. So the back tire is a little tricky. The valve you can see is down there and I had a hard time getting it hooked up. So I went down between the two tires, just real simple. 
reached in there. Wasn't too bad. Now there's, the cord won't reach all the way back here. So that's where this little beauty comes in, the Bluetti. Um, we use this thing all the time. You got your 12 volt power, you got 110 power, anywhere you need power portably, this is the unit. So we're gonna use this and get these tires checked. So what I like about the Blue Eddy is, while this is running, you can see it's pulling 116 watts. So that's pretty cool. I think this thing's rated for 300, so it should handle this no problem. So this is a little bit of a screw up. That's the tire chuck for the inner tire. And they put the hubcap on crooked. So there's no way you can um, get the tire chuck on there. I'm gonna have to pop the hubcap off. So if you wanna see how ugly it is without the hubcap on. Yee, el cheapo. <laughs> but you can see, I can get to that valve stem real easy now. We'll get it centered and be good for the next time, but yeah, one of those little things, not a big deal. Flathead screwdriver gets it fixed, but it takes time. So you can see once I got it home and I took the hub cap off myself, put it on right, filling that inner tire, it's right there, super simple. Okay, here's the bumper. And in here is where we keep the hose. And I got 20 foot section. Um, Sometimes they only need half, but kind of nice. That's where it's stored. Pretty cool. One little inexpensive thing we added is this screen over the vent, um, which is really cool because I've heard bugs get in there and hornet's nests being built in there. So when you're running down the road, you don't want to have the generator running, uh, but you still want to maybe have the kids watch TV in the back, but you need to power the television. Um, because it's right across from the theater seats, which have seat belts, so the kids in all actuality can watch TV while you're driving, but you don't want to run the generator, right? That's where these two come in. This one here is the most compact inverter I've ever seen. It runs on the Milwaukee batteries. This little tiny box snaps in like so, like so. You turn it on, plug it in, and that will fire up our big 52-inch TV and run on it for hours and hours no problem they have different batteries this is the biggest battery they make the 12 they make it 5 6 8 9 uh, 12 they have a lot of different battery options but a lot of guys you might have milwaukee tools and already have that battery so then you just got to buy this little top portion which i think is about 89 bucks something like that that's an inverter or that's where the below eddy comes in this thing will run that tv for a long long time no problem and uh really really cool the cool thing about the below eddy too is it charges from 12 volt you can have it plugged into your cigarette lighter, running off the car battery, charging from there while you're driving. So um, it's a really cool unit. Okay, so we've got this big 50-inch uh, TV, 50-something inch TV on in the motorhome, and I've got it running off the Blue Eddy, right? And it's running it no problem. You can see it looks fantastic. Uh, and the antenna on this thing, um, we pick up in LA like 135 channels for free on the digital antenna. Uh, most metropolitan areas we've been to get anywhere from 30 to 80, but LA, we get 135 channels for free. But I wanna show you something here. This is like a pro tip. If you look and see uh, right here, I'm running off the Blue Eddy. It's taking 83 watts, 84 watts to run this television. Um, and it'll go for hours like that. But here's a cool tip that I wanna show you of how to maximize uh, your battery life. And you can do this too, even if you're running off of an inverter. But if we go over here to menu and we go to picture and I go to backlight, if I take this backlight down to where you can see, it's not changing it that much. I usually take it down to about 12, 11 or 12 where it's still watchable. Now let's go over here and check. Look, I'm running on 36 watts now, guys. Let's try to turn it down all the way to zero. Um, let's see here. I'm going to try it. Let's get that down even more. Nine, eight, four, three, two. So that's the backlight all the way off. It's only running on 23 watts and it's still watchable. I mean, your kid's driving down the road watching Disney Channel. They're not gonna care if it's not all that super bright. So I just 
literally lengthen the, the run time by more than three times by just turning the backlight down uh, to zero. So huge tip there, guys, how to run your TV driving down the road without the, without the generator on, but the kids want to watch TV and how to save power by doing it. 53 inch TV running on 23 watts. It, that Bluetti with the, I think it's about a 25 amp lithium ion battery, it'll run all day long on 23 watts. Like literally, probably 12 hours. So, cool tip. Another thing I had to fix was this heating pad for the uh, holding tank. It came, the front became, adhesive became delaminated and it started coming off on the road. But I had some of the alien tape with me, two-sided tape, and uh, taped up all around it. And that's been like seven, 8,000 miles ago and it's been great. So, so one major boo-boo from the factory of Integra you can see this is labeled gray and black, but you can see that's gray. It's going up this way, right up to that tank. But that's not gray. That's the bathroom. That's black. They literally got the labels and the colors backwards. Uh, the top one, that's the black tank flush. So we're gonna flush our tank and dump the tank here. I've got it hooked into the sewer of the house. So, uh, real simple i'm gonna run some water first um i only have probably a third of a tank at the most in the black tank but you want to have that tank really full before you flush it out the the pressure of all that water kind of creates a suction so uh, i'm going to start this going a few minutes ahead of time and start filling up that black tank and spraying the walls down uh, that way when i open up the valve it'll be a nice powerful uh, burst to kind of flush it clean so it's flushing and you can hear the tank and they're nice and loud. You can hear it. It's doing its job, rinsing all the sides out and getting her clean. So it's starting to look clear. So let's close the valve and see how clear really it is. Uh, no, we ain't there yet. Well, that's pretty good now. Let's close the valve. Let's see what we got. That's a lot. Uh, there's still some stuff in there. Let it go again. One more time. Okay, let's see if that did it. There we go. Clean water. We're good to go. Let me shut the black tank off. So we were just on a two-week trip to Oregon. So one thing I like to do is use this Rhino clear valve, but it has this garden hose connector with an on-off switch here. So you can flush out your gray tank, too. Because the gray tank, it gets gross, too. I mean, you got cooking oils and di dirty dish stuff and there's residue and little pieces and stuff that get in there as well so i like to flush it so let's see uh let's see how this goes so what i like to do is kind of backfill the tank a little bit so i'm going to shut this valve here that back valve then i'm going to turn the water on and it's going to fill the tank up you know put maybe five ten gallons in the tank something like that i'm going to shut the water off then we're going to open the valve we'll see what it looks like You can see there's some color, some dirtiness. That water's not super clear. So we're doing a good job getting all that dirty dish soap and residue out of there. And we're gonna give it one more last blast. Gonna cut that off, let that drain. So really for running a CPAP in your motorhome, uh, this is what I like to use. It's so compact, it's small, it fits up there above the bed. It works fantastic, it runs in no problem. You can run all night long on one battery. And that's the cool part is that if you're staying for more than, than one night, you can just pop that off, go over to your other battery here, slide it on, and you're ready to go for the next night. So depending how many batteries you got, you have an unlimited amount of nights uh, without having to plug into anything, without having to turn your generator on. So you can see not only this has the 110 outlet, but it also has USB uh, C which is the fast charging and the normal USB slow charging. So this little unit is pretty awesome. You can charge your phones, you can run your CPAP, you can run a laptop, and it'll run our big 52 inch TV as well. So super cool. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end. Good job. If I missed something and you wanted to see, leave it in the comments below.